Hello folks and welcome to Max Thrust RC and uh, <laughs> and today we're going to be exploring DDK's level one project. Um, I should just say that this is going to be a lighter take on the whole process. If you want to see a, a super serious uh, take on it then check out my original Model Rocket series and series two. Um, but here is DDK. I'm sure you've all met him before. Hello. And uh, yeah, he's just going to uh, introduce what this series is uh, going to be all about. So uh, the idea is going to be, I am going to be the test subject to prove that any numpty can do this. I've I've never actually built a rocket before. I've had a little go with some small ready to fly kits, and I'm I'm hoping just to get some sort of mid medium sized rocket ideally with you know a nose cone and some fins <laughs> <laughs> and um yeah i'd like to be able to do a level one nice nice and high and nice because uh the point being if i can do it anyone can do anyone it. anyone can do it guys you can all do it and you can all come down to the club you don't have to be a level one you could be no. A beginner, a level one, a level two, or a level three, doesn't matter. It's all about having fun, and that's what we're going to prove in this video. Awesome, dude. Well, should we go find your rocket? Let's have a look. Epic. All right, so DDK's been looking at kits, and I think he's found the one. It's a bit like Harry Potter finding his magic wand. Well, this <laughs> is DDK's magic wand. It's a public missiles IO, and uh, here you can see some rail buttons and also a uh, motor retainer, which is anodized blue. And it's um, a system that I've not seen before. It's got a little black clip at the back there to use to uh, plug the motor in, uh, which obviously we'll show you later on. And uh, what, what are you thinking? Are you happy with that? Yeah, very happy. Um, it's, uh, I'm thinking it's, it's rugged. It's strongly built, which is going to be necessary due to my poor workmanship. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll be easy to paint as well because it's quantum tube. So, uh, yes. Nice. Okay, folks. And DDK's got a bit of a haul, uh, which he's got in front of him here. He's got his first rocket and all the associated bits. So he's just going to show you what he's got. What have we got, mate? So, um, as we saw earlier, it's, the, it's called the IO, although that's... Uh, the name of the kit, I'm not sure what its actual name is going to be yet, we'll decide that later. Got the airframe, nice nose cone for it as well. So uh, it's kind of, it's, it's, the size I, it's the size I wanted, um, not too big, but big enough so that we can put a decent sized motor in it. Um, which, I didn't need to buy a motor yet, but it was it was just too tempting not to really. So it's a, uh, a white, G class motor Pro 38 high power loadable rocket motor, motor system. Yeah. Uh, and then um, you got various bits here, which as a beginner I I don't know what most of them are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know that these are the fins, and that they're apparently made of fiberglass, which I thought was quite cool. Yeah. So you got some G10 fiberglass fins there. The G motor here is obviously for the maiden flight. We'll need an H for the level one. What else we got? Uh, we got some shock cord. Shop board sleeve, uh, a nice old school purple and yellow parachute, which I'm quite looking forward to seeing. Um, the retainer for the motor, which is blue, which uh, probably some bits on the rocket are gonna end up being blue. And um, some sort of piston, not really sure how that works. <laughs> well, uh, I'm gonna get taught by the master how that works later on. And um, some rail buttons yeah. for the launch rail, and also some you call these launch lugs for yes, the, the smaller lugs. sort of rail. So we've got rail and rod capability. Yeah. Excellent. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, so... Instructions and uh, other bits, Bob. So, yeah, we're going to have Imagine some fins on this. That's, uh... that's going to be what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be pretty gangster. Epic, man. Right, well, uh, we'll have to put it all together. Awesome. 